Hello everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this video, I am going to explain how to practice data wave interview questions. Okay. In order to practice, you know already, you can log in into data wave, data wave playground, correct? Data wave playground. So here we can practice, but in order to practice, so what is required? We need, what is required? We need input payload, correct? We need input payload. So how to work with, okay? How to get sample payloads and how to work with large payloads. So this is what we are going to discuss today. So this is very, very important. Okay. See, most of the people were asking, I want to practice data wave, but I need a payload. I want to practice data wave interview questions. I don't have input. So in this session, I'm going to explain, okay, how to get sample payload, okay, to practice data view, interview questions or else data view, practice purpose also, okay. So first thing, we need input payload. So if you want input payload, so it is very difficult to type, suppose I want to create 100 objects here or 50 objects here. So how we are going to create Okay, this is very difficult, right? So that is the reason I'm going to give you a simple trick, okay? Simple trick, suppose. I want to take, I want to take travel, travel data, travel, it's like bus information, okay? So how to take that? It's very simple, okay? Just go to Google. Just go to Google, type red bus Arabi bus. Okay, first type red bus Arabi bus. See what is happening here. Whenever you are going to search something, I am going to search Bangalore to Goa. Suppose I am going to click search buses. So you know already. So everything in a backend there is an APIs. So how this data is populating here? How this data is populating? So whenever you are going to search, whenever you are going to click search button here, so we do have an API in the backend. It is going to send the request and we are getting the response, okay? Then what you need to do in this case, just give right click here, go to inspect. Okay, go to inspect, go to inspect. So here we do have multiple options. So if you want, if you want to see the data in a right side, I mean, right hand side, okay, then what you can do, you can choose this one or else if you want to see it in a tabular format, okay, click on this one, okay, now. Observe carefully. So what we need to do, just give right click, go to inspect. So here we do have network tab. What is that? Network. Click on this network. Okay. Next up is you need to click on this network and clear the logs. So here we do have an option record, stop recording. And see here we do have option called stop recording and clear. Okay. Now, so if you want to take some sample data from Bengaluru to Goa, okay. See, as of now, I didn't perform, I didn't perform any search here. Clear the logs before that. So what you can do, just click on this search. Just click on this search. So after getting the results, you need to stop the recording. Okay, just stop the recording now. 
just stop the recording just stop the recording and see in the web page we can see the data okay bharati travels 23 11 starts from how many seats are available okay this kind of data it is available now just little bit maximize this one go to network right so you need to concentrate on this red color one. okay see there is a i i means information okay custom here you need to select response okay before that see payload what is the payload you are sending okay see back end i told you right okay everything it is an api so you are selecting you are selecting bangalore to goa okay this is the request we are sending okay how to get the data how to see what is the data it is receiving this api now you have to concentrate on i i here okay so wherever it is i you have to concentrate okay see forget about rest of the things only concentrate on so there is a symbol i right okay i false something like this okay click on this response see click on this response if you see this one see here also you will be having some data you can copy this if you want you can copy this you can copy this but i want to see entire data so so what is the functionality which we have performed search right just go to little bit top so there is a nai search results from city just click on this one see after clicking this one you can able to see this entire json payload see here how beautiful it is now what you need to do just copy this control a control c put it into notepad if you want you can keep it into notepad okay it's not copied you right click here copy copy go to notepad and paste it see how many lines of code it is available see i can see there are 14000 there are 14000 records i mean the rows it will be available see for practicing purpose <laughs> this will be enough i think yeah. suppose you want to do some operations you want to do some operations okay so as of now let me pick some data suppose see dp data is there it's mean departure data so it's like departure data okay you want to you want to perform something based on only small kind of payloads okay see then that is very easy we can do this so this is the payload correct this is the payload so here i want only here i want only name and address suppose so how to get this map object here so because it is a map object right okay so if you want only name you can print the name name map and objects right okay so it's not a map one so here i want to print uh only name suppose okay if you want to perform some operations on this payload dot name okay so the name is printing the same way i want to take name and address right so just create the object over here name payload dot name so one more address i want okay so this is simple one i'm going to explain okay payload dot address see now you can able to see name and address but 
my payload my input is very big okay so i want to work with i want to work with large payloads so how to do this so you know how to take the large payload values okay large payload values see not only this website okay not only this website if you want to take uh, train information okay if you want to take train information so you can go to train booking it's very simple irctc ticket booking right okay you can take any website and click on inspect okay click on inspect so that's very important now go to network tab from where you want to book i want to book from again bangalore okay sir bangalore okay now i want to travel bangalore to delhi okay you can consider like this okay when you want to travel i want to travel on suppose april 8th any date okay april 8th so now what will happen so whenever you perform such operation we will get the results right before that clear the logs clear the logs just click on search so after getting the results in the screen just stop the recording okay just stop the recording see now we are able to see the data now stop the recording here see here now we are able to see the data now what is the next step you need to identify the information wherever it is i okay i write okay just go to top you can come one by one see content search so the very first one i click on this one see this is the response we are getting okay here okay so like this see there are multiple apis inside they are calling you can consider okay at the same time they are calling multiple apis by using chatter gather the same way see code symbol rate and digit okay i want to practice something just copy this payload go to data wave playground and just do copy paste here now we can perform okay i want to i want to combine everything okay if you have multiple object here go to flatten type payload see you now okay something like this okay then i want to filter something i want to filter only the code with bam i want to group by i want to do distinct by okay that you can do but our main intention is how to take how to take input how to take input payload how to work with bulk payloads now see here there is a data it is available there are many things okay there are many things it is available here status okay this is not train status okay just you need to concentrate on only wherever it is i okay the value it will be available with i this is also the data is very less here only 150 lines or 140 lines something will like this but you can consider you do have an input with the large payloads okay with this large payload so how to work with this okay copy this now see the magic just remove this one see if you observe here in the right side service unavailable service unavailable then how to practice 
how to practice this is there any big input or uh, big payloads we cannot practice by using data wave playground it will not support okay it will not support if we have less i mean 50 lines or 100 lines or something like that then you can do this but in this case so how many lines it is available around 15k okay around 15k it is available i want to filter this okay i want to filter i want to do some operations how to do this in this case what you can do is you can use for practicing purpose either you can go with any point studio keep this one into a file and you can read it out and again you can in the transfer messages you can do that but instead of that what you can do is you can go to vs code visual studio code okay go to file file create one folder okay for data web practice for data web practice i'll go to this pc b so here i'm going to inside files okay just i'm going to keep it as data wave practice okay create one folder and select that folder okay select that folder now you can see now just you can use trusted one okay fine now you are able to see see the file okay this is the folder now what you need to do for practice right click on this new file so here we are going to write just i'll keep it as okay bus filter dot so this is very important dot dwl dot dwl you need to type dot dwl you need to type so here you are going to write your code but where to where to keep your input okay that's very important so before that before that what we need to do is we need to add one extension okay that is called data data wave see if you see here if you see here we need to add this extension data wave 2.0 extension into any point so not any point visual studio code okay just install this one so it will take few seconds to get it installed get it installed see now it is installed do you want to allow yes okay so now it is installed fine now we can go to bus filter dot dwl so if you observe here define sample data and run mapping it will be available just click on this define sample data define sample data see payload dot json okay see what is the name you want payload dot json or different name if you want you can keep it just give one enter now this this one is the sample one now what you need to do is you can go to your input payload wherever it is present just do copy paste control c and control v see how many lines of code it is available here around 15k okay 14000 change okay fine so this is my input now 
correct this is my input see just observe here this is my input so here i want to take so this is my input just do save it just to save it uh, let me take any data okay see where it is available okay i'll take any smaller one first okay i want to take uh, i want to take sections i want to take sections correct i want to take sections see where it is present metadata inside this sections okay first let me print metadata what it will come okay that is what you need to do see if you print only payload okay if you print payload just type payload so here we do have an option called run run preview okay run preview project is not at initialized preview is going to be x-ray okay so because we are doing for the first time right okay let it be install or initialize cannot run data until project was installed okay so what you can do just do restart okay once again so as soon as if you added this uh, data view extension just do restart let me close this and type vs code type vs code see now you have data for practicing purpose see however you want okay see this is called see this is this is the large payloads okay now close this one so it's a preview project is not at initialized preview is going to be executed once project is initialized okay, let me go with simple one we'll see test dot dwl okay so define sample data okay let me run only this one just to save it okay let me see what is the issue now uh, suppose when you are facing this issue like a project is not yet initialized okay so most of the times you won't get uh, this issue i have tried it in a different system also i didn't face this issue but whenever you are going to face this issue what you need to do you can go to terminal take new terminal type mvn clean install okay there is some issue i think okay we'll see how to fix this one So after fixing uh, settings.xml, okay. So now I'm getting the different error, okay. So in your case, you may get or you may not, okay. 
so what i will do is i'll go to view so here we, we can see right command uh, palette so just click on this one type data view okay data view create new library project okay create new library project click on enter example enter enter so what is the project name you want okay i want to keep it as version one or something okay so where you want to keep d files data wave so inside this i want to create one project okay i want to create one project so this is the data wave project but anyway for uh, installing the data wave okay library i mean the setting up the data wave so we need to go with view command palette so here you need to type data view then you need to simply you need to create one sample project then just give right click here just give right click and go to open in integrated terminal so here just type mvn clean install okay just type mvn clean install so here it will take some time to get it install just wait for few seconds you know now the build is success now the build is success so that means we can able to run we can able to run our data view pure okay data wave projects okay this is my project okay if you go to dw you can go to resources nothing is there test okay go to test just will try to call this one okay there is some issue okay forget about this one close everything now close everything close everything now go to test go to test just click on this run you know now the data is coming okay the output it is coming fine now i want to filter the data i want to filter the data from bus input okay okay so if you go with payload if you go with payload see the entire data it is displaying now i want to filter this data i want to filter this data payload dot payload dot if you if you give payload dot so here you can able to see metadata okay i want to print this metadata so before running this preview just do save it then you can click on run preview see now now i want to take sections data from here metadata inside inside sections correct inside this sections i want to take again save it see now see the large payloads it won't work in a data wave playground so in order to practice with the large payloads you need to install or you need to set up data wave in a visual studio code so that it will be very easy it will be very easy to practice so let me see i want to take a not section see here there is a arrow marks there is an arrow marks see whatever you want you can take it see inside this sections data we do have different things 
okay inside this sections sections data is available okay now i want to see only trips so where it will be available just let me minimize metadata invoice okay inside this inv we can able to see we can able to see all the bus information correct now i want to take only all the bus information here payload dot inv okay payload dot inv dot inv dot BP data okay so is there anything okay no bus type okay INV let me check so inside this array okay let me print something as of now so in order to practice you have to follow you have to follow these steps you have to follow these steps see if i go with this one see i'm getting all the times okay so something like this okay in order to practice see anyway this kind of payloads they won't give you for an interview purpose but in real time in real time in order to practice in order to practice with the large payloads we have to go with like this okay then only it will work yeah that's it for this video if you are facing any issues please do comment in a comment box if you like this content then please do share it with your friends and happy learning we'll see you in a another video thank you